Is this the most intact wooden schooner shipwreck ever discovered? Resting on the bottom at 300 feet in the Manitou Passage of Northern Lake Michigan, the startling discovery by Ross Richardson on the 10th of September 2018 has been dove on twice by technical diver Steve Weimer II and surveyed by underwater drone piloted by Brian Dort along with Richardson and his team on the 17th of May 2019. The wreck sits on the bottom without any noticeable hull damage and spars standing upright. A lifeboat, complete with oars, lies adjacent to the port stern, still attached to one of the davits. The surprising discovery has spurred a thorough and exhausting research effort by Richardson's team to identify the mysterious wreck. After close examination of shipping notices, newspaper clippings, maritime records, tens of still photographs, and hours of underwater video, Ross and his team are prepared to declare the site the final resting place of the W.C. Kimball, lost with all hands on the 8th of May, 1891. Leaving Manistee bound for Traverse City, the Kimball was carrying a cargo of 200 salt barrels and 250,000 bundled wooden roofing shingles when she disappeared, supposedly, near Point Betsy. Ross Richardson's year-long research has produced a working theory on the loss of the Kimball and his ongoing investigation has confirmed several telling details about how the wreck came to be so well preserved. Clues at the wreck site suggest the W.C. Kimball caught in a spring gale and slowly covered in ice as she made her way north. The weight of the ice eventually caused her to founder, but also protected the vessel from damage during the sinking. Unfortunately, the ice also made it impossible for the crew to access the lifeboat leading to their demise. The hatches leading to the cargo hold are still battened down and the stern cabin is completely intact. The small coastal schooner's two masts are still standing in nearly perfect condition, rising 90 feet off the lake bottom. As technical diver Steve Weimer II puts it, In 15 or so years of diving Great Lakes shipwrecks, I had never seen anything quite like this. It was truly amazing. Russ Richardson on solving this Lake Michigan mystery. We are 100% convinced we have identified her correctly and are hopeful that this will offer a small sense of closure for the descendants that is long overdue regarding this Lake Michigan mystery.